Okay, this is a, Rob, what is it? Canton? Canton number four. This is a Canton number four. I can never remember that. It has a 5,000 pound capacity. Me and Rob just restored it. And this is the video of us restoring it. I spit out some bogus information in the beginning of the first intro. I said it's from the 1880s, but it's really, Rob, 1920s? Yeah. Rob's not, he's not committing to that information. But uh, by all accounts, about the 1920s. I'll insert some classic pictures from magazines right here of what we found and what some people sent us. But it is ready to go, and this is the video of us restoring this crane, and I put some custom logos on there. Thanks for watching. Okay, we're looking at a crane. Rob, do we know what year this is from? Uh, I don't remember. I don't. 18 something, right? 18 something. 18 something. I'm trying to get it prepared for restoration. We'll see what happens. Everything is frozen, unfortunately. Even this pin is frozen. This is a gift from Andrew at Blacksmith Tools, and we are going to try and restore it. Get it ready for paint, get all the rusty stuff moving. See what we can do. Okay, so a couple of the big problems with this is this pivot pin right there is locked or frozen and both of these are fairly frozen. They move but not freely, not freely at all. So we'll start with heating some stuff up. Hey guys, if you haven't had a chance to check out my Duresta I Make store, I encourage you to click the link in the description of this video. That's where I have created and curated a list of shop items like my skeleton knives, my oversized razor blades, shop posters, and of course there you'll find the handmade ice pick made by me and Rob here in the shop in upstate New York. Some of the items tend to sell out fast, so I do apologize if they are currently out of stock. But if you click the link in the description, you can head over to the shop and check it out. And as always, thank you for the love and support. We're just straightening out the handle. We're trying to straighten it out, makes it easy to work with. Let me get that hot. That's not hot at all yet. No. Give it a quick yank. Ooh, yep. That's it. That's it. Good ice. Put it in the straight that position. Put it in the straight position if you can. So now we'll heat this up. Yeah, let's go. Okay, this has this weird extension which needs to come off. That's dangerous. We're gonna move this pulley back to where it's supposed to be, which is on that. Right? That's the is that the pulley yep. goes on that, right? Uh yeah, because the pulley goes on that, and then your extra hook goes on that. Yeah. So if you're going to double up on your, uh, on your hook. All right, let's see. Okay. Okay, loosen it. <laughs> sure. What are you waiting for? Should we just cut those bolts off? Maybe. Rob reminded me that we own this. Come on, baby.
Yes! Look at how hot it is. <laughs> Don't pick that up. That's it. All right, step one done. We're gonna need that pulley.
What's the prognosis, doctor? She'll live. What did you do to get that moving so cleanly? I mean, there was there any just... Uh, wheel and a six foot pry bar. You just kept moving it and then it started moving? Mm -hmm. A little bit of movement leads to a lot of movement. That's, that's what I always say. And I've oiled it a few times since you left. Mm -hmm. But in the beginning, you could see, look, this is when we were grabbing that with a big heavy monkey wrench. Remember that when we first got it? Yep. We had, a, you could see the digging and nothing was moving. It was a, it was a four foot pipe wrench <laughs> with an extension on it and you and I jumping on the bar the whole time. And I thought we were going to break the wrench. Nothing moved. Look, it now moves with my little pinky. See that? Look at that. It's incredible.
Go, stick it in. Stick it in. One more. Oh, good job. Hold it in place. <laughs> Hold it in place. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. That's it. Don't get the goo boo on your hands. Yep, it's in the right orientation. That's just to keep it from falling out more than anything. Yeah, I don't know if you got it. Got it. Put some crazy glue on the end of that. Are we ready? I think we're ready. Standing it up. Ow! Aside from the crank handle, it's basically done. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's try and stand it up. Thank you. 